Hey everybody, welcome back to another Wargamer Dragon tier list, and today we're gonna rank maps, which is the best map of them all, in my opinion, of course. We got Pogging Out of My Gourd, Great, Fine, Acceptable, and Are You Going to Secure That Island? Some of you older Wargamer Dragon YouTube viewers, not even of my channel, might remember that, because that was before I started doing YouTube videos, it was, I think, in 2015, in the 3 vs 3 tournament with Firestarter and Dirty D, it's still on Firestarter's channel, on a map that happened, uh, sorry, on a map that is going to be ranked here. Although it was on a larger version of the map. Now, we're going to go over this in chronological order. And we're going to start with Mud Fight. Now, Mud Fight, kind of a divisive map, I think. Some people hate it, some people love it. Or most people hate it or love it. I think it's just fine. The main reason is, I I'm not really biggest fan of these types of maps, which are relatively small in a few zones that are all one-pointers. However, I think what helps this map is, assuming you play every ranked map on average one-seventh of the time, because it's it's different, it breaks things up. Um, you can't just, you know, get like a huge conquest point lead if you get like a you know counter cap a two-pointer or something. Not like that takes no skill or anything like that, right? But it's just different. It's, it takes a while to actually get a conquest point lead. You have to be in quite a, an advantage for quite a long time, again, to get that lead. You need more CVs to get plus two, for example, going on. It's just, in that regard, quite different from the other maps. However, what I don't like about this map, and maybe I'm actually going to put it down into acceptable, the more I talk about it, it's just one strategy from Echo, really, and it's just the main Delta Alpha push. You can do some Charlie stuff here, but pretty tough to work uh, to to make it work and um, especially against plain heavy decks which is not a part of you know why I don't why I like this map as much quite difficult to pull off Bravo has the advantage in the sense that they can actually do proper Foxtrot push that works or going in for the town some people like to do that or of course you know go for a standard push um, still though I find the map actually relatively balanced despite this um, though my major, my other major cri criticism on, of this map is lack of cover in Delta, or in general really, but mainly Delta, the central zone here and everything around it. There's this forest here, but that's really about it. It makes, like, you know, plain heavy gameplay a lot stronger, and I'm not a fan of that. I think plain gameplay is not that fun, not that interactive, not that interesting. You might disagree, which is fine. And I just don't think it's very healthy for the game, especially stuff like Kurnesses or Nitox in the opening, just wrecking your whole push. I've done it before, it's done to me before, you know, I live with it. It's still, I find, not the most interesting gameplay. And we can, of course, do stuff against it, right? Don't let me, this is not me implying that you can't do anything against it. Um, I'm just not a fan of that. Yeah, lack of, of really strategy, variety, small map, right? You can't even, unfortunately, you can't really make use of this water. You can't, you know, the map actually stops like, you know, I, I don't know, 300 in-game meters, 200 in-game meters from the edge here. So you can't actually like, try to break line, break line of sight by getting down this ridge or into the water here, which is unfortunate. Uh, sneaking doesn't happen as much. You can, but it's not, eh. It, only really around the alpha, mainly. Um, which, eh. Like, I'm not saying, oh, it should be easy peasy to sneak, but sneaking, there should be some options. There's at least, like, one option here, I guess. And it shouldn't be too easy as well, but not too hard either. Yeah, it's a fine map. Maybe I'm going to put it down to acceptable when I go over the maps at the end again. It, it's okay, right? Next up. Oh, real boys, real. We have... Nuclear winter is coming, which I'm going to put in great, because it's a great map. Haha, ha. no, but it is actually a good map. I suck on it. I'm bad with edit, not with it, edit, but it offers a lot of stuff. You can push to put on the left. You can go for a one pointer push here, try to get full control of it, or push a two pointer on the, on the other side of the, of the river, really, right? Um... This is one of the few times where rivers actually add something to the game, in my eyes. Most of the time they just screw up maps, especially if they're uh, 
you know, around the center of the map in a horizontal fashion. Then they often just destroy maps, looking at you, gunboat diplomacy. But here they actually add something. Because they cut off this, these parts here from the rest, meaning that it's not that easy to reroute stuff from one side to the other without getting spotted or being just out in the open with no cover. Honestly, very cool here. Maybe... Maybe. The river could be a bit thinner, so that you can actually make better use of amphibious capabilities, but even then, with no cover around, nobody would really do that. Um, these bridges maybe can be a bit annoying, because if you lose India, it's gonna be really tough to come back, because again, no cover, no bridges, uh, just bridges. So, this river here, not that great. I really wish they had some just wider bridges. Of course, you know, I'm not really sure if there's bridges that exist IRL that are essentially 10 times as wide. Or maybe, I don't know, have some kind of you know, very shallow water or something that normal units can drive through with like a speed penalty. That would have been nice. You know, kind of like you have an Age of Empires or something, right? These, these parts where you can cross the river with the units. Something along those lines. I don't know. That's that's my main criticism on this map. Everything else, honestly, is fine. It's relatively balanced. Delta can be pushed from either side. I actually prefer getting full control over Delta from the hotel. I find it much easier to actually get and control the sun from this side and from the other side. As weird as it might sound, because you have like this big chunk force that actually extends it to Delta. Still prefer it from this side. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. Um, this side really likes to, uh, likes to push Alpha, of course. And Charlie push from Echo doesn't happen as much. Probably mainly because of this town. Um, and honestly, the reinforcement point is also much, much closer. Still though, a lot of stuff you can do on this map. It favors, or not favors, but it allows a lot of different play styles. The opener, of course, very, very mode and helicopter heavy. And um, this can really screw you. Like, I've played from this side and the opponent helo dropped into like, these towns that I, I wasn't able to stop because you know, I didn't prepare for it. And I actually got screwed quite a lot. I'm not sure if I came back from this. Maybe there's been two matches and one of them I came back on. I don't know. But yeah, lots of things you can do. Also, the main reason why I would never... I would never suggest to run less than 8 CVs. Because just got, you know, the quote-unquote neutral zones, etc. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 CVs are needed already. You lose 1 or 2, or you, you have to contest the zone and all you have is uh, CVs that can't survive like mortar shelling. Good luck. So yeah. Honestly good map. I suck on it, but good map. Next we have plunging. Oh, plunging my beloved. Plunging my beloved. I don't know why. I actually don't know why. It's not even a meme. People hate plunging. It is such a good map. It is such a good map. It is big. It has a good amount of zones, but not too many. It has plus two and plus one. It is mirrored in a sense, I mean, kind of most maps are, but it is mirrored in a sense that I can, you know, in the opener contest this fairly consistently. The opponent, opponent in the opener can contest this fairly consistently. For them, this is safe. For me, this is safe, right? Two pointers in the opener are safe, right? I can push their two pointer, they can push my two pointer. I can push Bravo. I can push this, I can push this part in the middle, they can push there, or, or here, or there, or there. It's so many strategies, and they and they play into each other, right? You know, I open from this side, I start pushing this early, I get control over Bravo, and then I reroute to push into Delta, and then it is such a good map. This whole thing is just, this whole part of the map is just so well connected. There's just no breaks that you know separate one part from the other which sometimes can be good in the form of nuclear because it's a good bit bigger right but you know it's, imagine it would be like a horizontal river here it'd be horrible right suddenly this whole bar would be cut, cut off from Foster, right stupid but it's just so so good it is decently balanced yes charlie has a slight advantage but i i still hold on I'm, and i'm gonna die on this hill that the most people who are like oh this side is, is so much better. They overestimate the advantage that Charlie has. 
I'm not saying I'm. There's no way I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm gonna die on that hill. That the advantage is it's overestimated. It is such a good map. You can sneak around. I would say that especially Charlie, but both sides, the starting zones could be better protected in the sense that it is too easy to get units in there. I feel like a bit more open area around this would be nice. Or maybe a bit more cover as well in the zones, maybe some towns or something. It's also a bit nasty if you manage to get some infantry right in this town where the units spawn. It's not perfect. It has issues. But my god, it's such a good map. This is actually one of the two maps that I wouldn't mind playing quote unquote forever, right? I I don't get tired of this map. I don't. It is such a good map. It just it is it is just such a good map. Right? You see stuff happening on this side of this map, which is just completely like like actual pushes, not just sneaking, right? Which is just, you know, outside of the I don't know, the circle of zones, let's put it that way, right? There's just Everything in this area is used. Every single piece of land is used here. And that happens on very few maps. It's You can expect a push from so many different... It's... I know I'm just... Uh, it's just such a good map. It's just such a good map. You have towns, you have deep forests, you have open areas, you have... Small forests, right? You have bush lines. There's variety. It's there's so much variety and so many things you can do on this map. Oh, and I'm sick and tired of people who hate this map. <laughs> Next up, Paddyfield. Oh, Paddyfield. I don't know why, but it seems to be like the favorite two versus two maps of a lot of people. Two versus two map, excuse me. Paddy. Uh... I don't know, I'm I, I'm always like kind of like, is it great, is it fine? Maybe it's high-end fine, maybe it's low-end great. It's somewhere in there. I'm gonna put it on low-end great. Patty, sort of, it has, it definitely has issues. Um, planes, very strong again, especially like on this part of the map. If Delta is pushing here, Planes can just completely murder you. Fox, Echo, excuse me, Echo, not Foxtrot, has potentially similar things, but yeah, instead of this forest line, which you generally control to take cover in before you push, Delta, it's gonna be tough. Although, Delta really, over the past years, and um, it took me a while to catch on, really, started you know, really getting into these like Bravo pushes, man, and they've been working out. Some people have been pushing to Jolly, although that's pretty rare. Um, it is, it is okay balanced. I think none of the ranked maps are really horribly unbalanced. Um, but I feel like this side, I prefer less. I'm more of an Echo player myself. I don't know how others feel. But I would guess that most people feel the same way. Maybe they don't. It depends. Delta has an actual reasonable chance of protecting their farm or getting spotted. Echo not so much. Um, one thing, the thing I don't like about Delta is for one, again, this open area, if you want to push Foxtrot, it's just, can be brutal against certain maps or playstyles. The other thing is also, it is up here, you have very little cover up here as well, right? It's so easy for a helicopter here, having there, they are just spot, spotting everything you have here. Um, it can be really difficult to sometimes to conceal your units or hide your intentions of where you want to push, etc, etc. And despite this, I, I still like playing it. This, in my head, actually, now that I think about it, out of all the ranked maps, be the most unbalanced one, now that I think about it. I kind of talked myself into it. Sometimes, you know, you don't realize these, these things and, until you actually talk about it, and, you know, I haven't really talked about this. Um, Echo just has much, much better cover game in my eyes. Can push up into Alpha. And, of course, push here. Some people from Delta really like pushing over there and I'm not a fan of that um, because if you do that you can just so easily get sidetracked from there and then there it's just ugh. I really really like that this is actually very important once again just taking plunging outside of the zones an actually important thing and it you know goes 
again, some people sometimes say, oh, the only thing in Wargame that matters are zones. Not quite, right? This is a very crucial area. Of course, zones matter in the sense that you, know, you need victory points, but frequently, very frequently, stuff outside of zones has a huge impact. And in this case, it's like really this whole part. You know, because if you want to control this, it's going to be tough to control if you don't have, you know, control over the sound. Control doesn't mean to fill all of this, right? But to make sure this is clear and then you put put stuff in there, right? This is all very, very crucial. Sometimes some stuff happens even here. Not not that often, though, because it's still like quite a lot of distance between these zones and, and the river here. Yeah, good map. But honestly... I talked myself into it. I still enjoy it more than Mud Fight. But I think it might be... You know what? No, I'm gonna put it in the I think it's the least balanced ranked map. But I think it's still more fun to play than, to me than some of the others. You know what? Nah. Nah. I st <laughs> That's, so here's the thing, right? I think I've enjoyed more than Nuclear Winter, but I still think Nuclear Winter is a better map. Right? So... It's not just my personal opinion, it's still also like, you know, how good I think these maps are, combined with my opinion on how much I like them. And I'm gonna leave it like that right now. Alright, Punch Bowl. I still feel so inexperienced with Punch Bowl, but I honestly think... I'll, I'll put it into acceptable. Part of it is, frankly, I under still understand it less than Nuclear Winter. Or not necessarily understand it. Um, I think I'm better on it than Nuclear Winter, but I still don't fully understand the map. Um, I think the two-point pushes are too strong and sometimes too easy to pull off. I think it can be quite difficult to come back on this map. There's a lot of stuff you can do. But it has just such a weird flow. I think it could do if like these zones might like maybe if it was shorter and there was a central zone here, maybe that would work better. There used to be a zone down here, but it was just eh. It was just weird. I don't think it's particularly well balanced, specifically Bravo. Um I find it is much easier for Alpha to hold a foothold here than it is for Golf to hold a foothold here if you end up losing it. Um I'm pretty sure Golf also gets into the central Braviton much faster. Um, they also have another avenue, like if they if they arrive here around the same time. Golf arrives here much earlier for sure. It is it is weird because Bravo doesn't really allow you to push into the Delta or Charlie parts. Delta maybe, but Charlie, you've seen it recently. Not really. So once you get control over Bravo, you can't really extend into other zones particularly well from there. Because of all this open area around. Boxer and Echo are honestly fine. I'm not sure if they really gain much by being up here. But it's not like they hurt much either, so that they're fine. The, sto the spawn zones, they're not particularly great. Both sides. Especially Golf can get the farm spotted very easily, the CV sniped. I guess not so easily. Golf, you have plenty of stuff to hide your CV in, but still. Um, and these, I don't like these parts. This, for one, line of sight is just fucked. Like, just put a unit here, you can't fire position from this tree to there. It, it just doesn't work. I'm too lazy to actually test it right now. You can just put some tanks here or infantry, ground units, test your with fire position in your line of sight. First, can go into like quote unquote first person perspective, see if you, you would have line of sight in your opinion, and then try and check it. And no, you don't. It's fucked here. It can be very difficult for either side to dislodge them from here or there. It is. I'm not. I'm not a fan. It is not an unbalanced map. I think. It. I mean, it is, but. It's not as bad as Patty, I think. But I, I just don't think it has a very good flow to it. It just feels very... Oh, I'm gonna bunker down on the two-pointer and I'm just gonna hold it. And because these are the only two-pointers and this is a central zone that more often than not both players just, you know, neutralize. 
you don't have what happens on nuclear winter as much, where suddenly the other side, you know, pushes the opponent out, right? Because assuming I control this, this is neutral, right? This plus two, all my opponent has to do is just counter cap my two pointer, right? So that happens not unfrequently. My opponent counter caps a two pointer, but you know, because I open differently, I might end up taking full control over the two one pointers on the other side of the map, right? And then suddenly there's a stalemate. Um, but I can't do much more than that. I can't really push further. It is. Uh, I don't know. Of course, you know, could argue the same thing happens with Nuclear Winter because there's two two pointers on each side. But I feel like most of the time, if one two pointer is being counter capped, then the other two pointer is suddenly getting full, fully capped by the opponent player. But yeah, I don't know. Again, not saying it's a bad map, I just don't like the flow with the way it plays. It's just very, very weird and unpredictable. And that, you know, can actually be healthy for the game, I guess. But I just don't enjoy it and think it's fun. And I'm not even that bad on this map, I think. I'm definitely better on this on this than on nuclear, but it's just a weird, weird map. Hell in a very small place. Where are we gonna put that? Well, I used to like this a lot more, but nowadays, I think it's fine. I think it's a fine map, it's a decent map. Decent zone layout, small. But the favorite is ground gameplay, which I think is good. Because it's a lot more fun than plain spam. Um, it's it's too small though, and a bit too much cover somewhere. A bit too easy to sneak around, I feel like it, it really is too easy sometimes. I do think, of course, you should be able to sneak around. Plunging, I think, is a good example. Decent example. This is a bit too much. Um... Especially if this side doesn't get doesn't make sure this is closed. Have fun playing against uh, something like Moto or Mac that just sneaks around the lead shocks all everywhere. <laughs> just not fun. I kinda find the golf and bravo um symmetries interesting. Um Alpha gets in here of course much faster than Delta gets in there. But at the same time, while well, that's an advantage for Alpha. If you only control, like, let's say, the part that quote unquote is yours, which is more or less this, not a lot, not a lot of lot of cover to work with and put your CV in. In Delta, however, while it takes much longer to get here, it is much easier to actually get a safe position for a CV in the disjunct forest than it is for Alpha to get, you know, here, um, because working through the forest against the you know, your opponent is much much easier than you know trying to push back into here across the open in a fortified town, blah blah blah. Very interesting. However, I think the main issue with this map is not necessarily that it's small or it favors Magnex, although that is an issue. It is really just that it fails very samey. The zones are pretty close together, and it almost always just comes around a fight on like this part of the map. You can't really put Fox Shot in the opener. I mean, you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. Bravo. Sometimes, of course, the fight does happen in Bravo. It can happen. It's pretty rare, though. It's just most often just down here in golf. Um, sometimes, and then in the later sa stages of the match, you know, stuff happens in Foxtrot or in Bravo. But especially early on, it's very samey. Um, it's just one main push. Alpha can push Charlie. Wouldn't necessarily recommend it. It's a possibility, though. Uh, but Delta can't really do much in Echo, right? If, if Delta uh, sits in Echo with an actual force, it isn't just like one sneaky infantry, Alpha probably lost. If Alpha sends in Charlie, it can't just be part of the opener, and then you push him back and then you're fine. And yeah, overall, it, it just feels very samey, but it's a good samey, right? It's not like a... It's horrible all the time. <laughs> Unless you hate grinding against infantry heavy map attacks, in which case, uh, I'm sorry. Next up. Oh, okay. Well, now we're getting a non ranked map. That is the exact map, or the one versus one version of the map, where I got asked by Firestarter. I don't even know if it's. A, you can't even consider the question, really. Are you going to secure the island, or should we just surrender? 
again it was not on this map like not on this version on a bigger version but it's, it was about this specific island here we were we got this side even again different zone layout but this was still like a zone and our opponent kept this with helicopters and, and yeah anyway horrible map i haven't played on this in actual years and this brings back memories man when soviets were like top tier in one versus one oh god and red dragons and red dragons mode was considered very very good too man those are the days now i hope i don't have to like explain to you why this is just so bad just looking at it makes me feel like ugh. anyway um yeah bridges river very narrow like the actual the actual like you're, you're gonna fight over this and that really or like yeah this and this were really the main things to, to be fought over right very little happened here instead of like helicopter drops uh sometimes i think some opponents some people try to like, go down here i guess which i suppose yeah, i mean i guess it is an option sure you can maybe bum rush on here it's, it's it still takes a while but it is just a horrible map. Very little ground, a lot of cover, two bridges. A fucking mountain here that makes like amphibious stuff even harder. Ugh. I just looking at this. Like, why do you even need a second spawn here? Just put like a spawn here. I I oh, have no this map is just I can't look at this anymore. I can't look at this. There is a worse map though. I think that's the actual worst one versus one map, and it's Tropic Thunder. It is just that was while straight to the point had a horrible like actual map. This I genuinely think this is worse. You have three two pointers on each side with two central one pointers. Alpha had such an easy time of actually like getting into golf and contesting it. Like, look at this. If you want to reinforce golf, you do some drive down here. They have to drive up here, cross the bridge, either like go off road for a bit, or, f or first go down and then up, and then it is just. And then you have to like go around this forest here. It's just. Alpha had such a huge advantage on this map. It is so big. There are two pointers. So secure. Golf in India, so not secure. Even Hotel, right? If Alpha got control over Foxtrot, Hotel wasn't particularly safe. All, all of this, it was just a. It, probably the worst, the most unbalanced one versus one map, if I had to guess. Straight to the point is quite bad. But. It, this is just on another level of badness. I hate this map so much. Once in Harbor is of course pretty horrible too. I might actually prefer this over a uh, straight to point. Once in Harbor... The problem with Once in Harbor is just that it's just pure towns. Uh, it used to be... I think it used to have the different layout as well of the non-naval... Uh, the, the mixed map just without naval spawns. Yeah, it's just towns and towns are horrible. Town fighting. I'm not sure what I hate more, town fighting or update gameplay. Like towns can be fine, but if it's just pure town fighting, it's just ass. Like I think this speaks for itself. But like, sure, if you enjoy town fighting, you might enjoy, you might love one thing, which is fine. I just hate it. It just infantry in in towns, infantry in forests are perfectly fine. Great, they work amazing. Infantry in towns, at least like. Towns that are like multiple town blocks next to each other, horrible. And I, even like in, in war and stuff, it's still horrible. I also don't like it in Civil Division, but I don't play it enough there. Town fighting, you never got right. Which is why I think they should, they should just leave town fighting as simple as they can, somewhat like war game, because if they can't figure it out, just don't even bother touching it, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, this is not about that. Yeah, I don't think I have to like explain to you the, the other thing about the famous it was so easy to heal the rush because the spawns were so close and your opener would go like away from the spawn 
so it wouldn't be like on the way where the helicopter were coming from, right? In most other maps, in the opener, you often like move towards your enemy spawn in a sense, right? So if your opponent were to heal rush you, at the very least, they would like fly over your units or like in range of your AA. In this map, nope. You fly this way, units go that way, right? This horrible, 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 horrible. I don't know. I'm still gonna place it higher than Tropic Thunder, but I just. What's it even called again? Death Row, I think? Yeah. I, um. <laughs> the minimap is still so fucked up. I barely played it. Uh, I remember that line of sight here is very fucked up too. Like, th from, from the center to like the left part here. Kind of fucked up, I think. It's just very one dimensional. Fucky line of sight making tanks just very awkward to use. Big town. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's all I have to say. Oh, that's the other ones in Harbor. It's just as bad. And then, and then finally. The goat. The goat of all maps. The only thing better than Plunging Valley. I wish you so. If you actually hate this map, you're dead to me. Right? I already ranted about people who hate plunging, but hating highway is even worse. Um, good zone layout, central zones that can be fought over, zones that are quote unquote yours. I'm not the biggest fan actually of secondary spawns maps, but they're okay here. You have open field, decently open fields with still plenty of bushes. You have deeper forests, you have medium sized forests, right? You have some towns. Honestly, just the right amount of towns because screw towns, and if you just put like single blocks or maybe two scattered around every every now and then, that's essentially the just the right amount of towns. And like the only time where you want like big town blocks, just put it into like you know spawn zones or something. Perfect, S tier, amazing, chef's kiss, love ya, right? It is pretty decently balanced, big, big enough that it allows like you know maneuvering. But small enough that actually stuff feels coherent and one stuff can move to the other side of the map, etc. Kind of like a plunging, right? This is actually relevant. I mean, it doesn't have to be that big, admittedly, right? But, you know, it is used for something. You can sneak around here. Sometimes you can sneak here, though that's, of course, difficult with the spawn, right? Sneaking is a possibility. The main... My main criticism are actually the spawn zones. Spawn zones are too small slash have too little cover. That is really my one and probably only actual gripe. Um, yeah, that's, I think the, it's pretty obvious, right? Um, makes flop spotting too easy, CV spotting too easy. You get the idea. And honestly, that's all there is to it, really. Just like dungeon allows so many different things you can push into child, you can try to go for like a Echo push here. Delta is, of course, very obvious. It often really comes... It is very dynamic, I feel like. It happens very frequently that the control over Echo changes hands. Um, Delta is always contested because it has just such a direct impact on, like, the secondary spawns. But Echo, I feel like, often changes hands. The Golf and Charlie, you know, aspects sometimes go back and forth. Very dynamic map, very good map. I do love to play with the highway here. If you don't have line of sight on the edge here, you actually don't spot what's on here. It's actually very, very cool. Good. Maybe, maybe like a couple of lakes could be cool. Generally, of course, please don't put rivers in here. But maybe like a lake somewhere where you can put like some cheeky AA or a CV or something. I don't know. Just spitballing here. But in general, good, good map. I wonder if you could do like maybe an alternative version, like one versus one version of place. I don't know. Mm. I was saying something like from here to here, but like with these plateaus and big forests, not so much. Still though, amazing map, the best one versus one map, Sheskes, love it. So yeah, do we want to change something? I think I can live with this. Maybe I'm gonna put Mudfight on unacceptable.
Yeah. <laughs> I know. I think it's acceptable because, you know, it breaks things up now that I think about it. If all maps were designed like this, it would be bad. Yeah, no, I think I think this is fine. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. These, of course, are all not in rank anymore, fortunately. This one never has been, and of course, mixed one never has been either. I still play all of these over Tropic Thunder, though. Fuck Tropic Thunder. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye.